Welcome back, everybody. As you can see, something different. Just the old stack of top loaders that I used to prop up the cards. And that is because, as you've garnered from the thumbnail, this is going to be part of a series that I'm going to call Sporting Families, a TTM tale. Over the course of sports, there have been some great, great families that have played in the same sport. In baseball, you have people like the Griffies. Hockey, you have the Hulls. Uh, football, you have quite a few. And as you can see, this is a football-related one because thumbnail. So I wanted to take a moment, look back, share some great successes that I've had with one of the more prominent football families, sending to them through the mail, and maybe inspire you to give it a try yourself because this is a family that going back to the start of it is very, very good family, very good to their fans. So without further ado, we will present, insert dramatic music in post, or not because I don't know how to do that, the Sporting Family, a TTM tale, this is the Manning edition. And we're going to begin right at the start. Ooh, that sunlight is not good. So we're going to kind of do this. Actually, maybe I'll just take it out of the sleeve. There you go. Out of the sleeve is a little better. It started with Archie Manning. Back in 1971, drafted second overall by the New Orleans Saints, was their stalwart quarterback for well over a decade, 71 to 1982, in the middle of the 82 season, went to the Houston Oilers, played the rest of the season there, then in 1983 played more there, then went to Minnesota, finished off his career there in 1983 and 1984. He was the start of, like I say, one of the best football families out there, especially, ironically, the exact same position. I actually sent to Archie, Mr. Manning, way back when, February the 6th of 2016. And I know he's still in the New Orleans area, and he has a business office down there. It's, um, I think it's related to his restaurant, which I actually did eat at when I was in New Orleans many years ago, a couple years ago. Took him two weeks, because this came back February the 20th of 2016. So two-week return for Archie Manning, College Football Hall of Famer, 125 career touchdowns, 23,911 passing yards. He was the first that I sent to, and then weirdly as I was looking into the research for this, I did find that, wow, I actually kind of did go down the line. So we're going to pause, and I'm going to... Reset and get ready for the next one. Okay. Well, the next one, pretty obviously, to the football fans, and yes, I dropped my notes because I'm having one of those days, would be his second, second-born son, Mr. Peyton Manning. I mean, what, what can you say about the career that Peyton Manning had? First overall pick in 1998. Was he first overall or second overall? Because that was the whole Ryan Leaf thing. I believe it was first. But played for the Indianapolis Colts from 1998 to 2011. Finished his career in Denver 2012 to 2015. Two Super Bowls, 14 Pro Bowls, 539 touchdowns, 71,940 yards. He's in the all 2000s. NFL All-Decade Team, he made the 100th year anniversary team, College Football Hall of Fame, Class of 2017, Pro Football Hall of Fame just this year, Class of 2021, rightfully so, his first year of eligibility. I, I mean, the, the accolades just go on and on and on. Plus, this was a cool card, and really, randomly, the only Peyton Manning card I had at the time, the old... Uh, 2014 Upper Deck Conference greats back when he was playing at the University of Tennessee. But you're looking at a busy, busy, busy man, one of the best quarterbacks ever, took the time to sign a card for me. I sent it, actually, his uh, Peyton Manning Foundation, which I believe is the called the Payback Foundation, P-E-Y like his name. Uh, it's out in Englewood, Colorado. You can go on their website. You can find 
out how to do it. He does sign through there. You send something to him. They limit the size. Basically, it has to fit in a 9 by 12 envelope when I sent a trading card, so it was nice and easy. Uh, no cost, and flat out said, you know, due to his the high volume of requests and the man's busy schedule, it might take a while to come back. I sent this October the 7th of 2017, and it came back uh, just a hair over six months later, April the 11th of 2018. And huge surprise when I opened it. I actually kind of wish I was doing the channel back then. But unfortunately I wasn't. I wasn't thinking ahead to the big picture of things. So now we have two Mannings. Will there be a third? Well, clearly, because I've already hinted at it. Yes, there will be a third. And here he is. Let's see if we can get a little glimpse of the signature there. The third Manning to play in the NFL. And actually, what year is that? 2013, Rookies and Stars for Eli Manning. And Eli was part of the uh, quarterback controversy back in 2004 as part of that amazing quarterback draft class. Uh, was taken first overall by, at the time, the San Diego Chargers who then traded him to the Giants, who then traded their pick, who was Philip Rivers, back to San Diego. So, another number one pick overall. Uh, and again, a monster career. Played his entire career with the Giants, 2004 to 2019. Two Super Bowls, both of them over the Patriots. Sorry, New England fans, but you, you just never could best Eli. Four Pro Bowls, 366 career touchdowns. 57,023 yards, and will he be a Hall of Famer? Yes, I firmly believe he will be a Hall of Famer. So he retired in 2019, so 2020, 21, 22, 23, 24. I think a couple more years he'll be eligible. I think he will go most likely first ballot, if not within two years of his eligibility being started. So I sent that actually care of the New York Giants near the tail end of his career, uh, November the 30th of 2018. Care of the Giants came back a little, uh, a little over four months later, March the 8th of 2019. This came back and, again, a huge surprise because Eli Manning was a big star, busy quarterback, but they kept they kept their humility, still do to this day, going all the way back to their father, who was a great player in his own right. So, pause for a minute, I'm going to do something funky. Well, that took longer to do than I thought, but I needed to get one of those little f funny stands. I'm sure I can find them somewhere. So, one of the best football families in football. I know what I just said, and I apologize for that. But regardless, from the top, Archie, Peyton, Eli, three of the four Mannings that were in football. Then there's the one, uh, the Manning, that sadly gets uh, it gets forgotten about is uh, the elder brother, Cooper, who actually is the father of Arch Manning, the big recruit who is going to be entering the college ranks, uh, I think, next year. But Cooper, uh, in his own right, was a fantastic football player. When Peyton was setting all these records for passing touchdowns when he was in high school, it was his brother Cooper that he was throwing to. Unfortunately, when Cooper got to college, he discovered, uh, I believe it was spinal stenosis, and they recommended he end his football career, and he did. And, and I'm fairly positive that that is what, the reason Peyton took the number 18 was in honor of Cooper, who sadly never got the chance to show off what a non-quarterback Manning could have done in the NFL. And from what I have gathered, he probably would have been a Hall of Fame receiver as well. So there you go. There are great sporting families. A lot of them love to sign. 
And maybe, maybe I'll send something to Cooper as well to complete the four Mannings and then wait a couple of years to see just what happens with a uh, little arch there and then the future for Peyton and Eli's children because I know every team in the NFL is just waiting to see what happens. So hopefully this gives you a little inspiration to send out to some of these guys because you never know unless you try. Like when I first sent to Peyton Manning, I thought there's no way that Peyton Manning is going to sign a card through the mail for free. And yet, there it is. So, any questions, feel free to shoot me a comment, let me know, subscribe, like, ba da ba da ba da ba da ba I think that's the first time I've ever done that in all these videos I've posted. Well, there you go. This concludes the first edition of Sporting Families, a TTM tale, hashtag, or hashtag slash tilde, whatever you want to throw in there, a Manning edition. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed.